once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. To never let it go. To never let it go. To never let it never. Good morning, Wafai. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2016. I'm Serena. And I'm Callahan, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. Lunch for today will be a choice of chicken alfredo pasta, build your own salad, and chicken patty sandwich. Remember, breakfast will be a free breakfast every day in the cafeteria. The word, the word of the day today is stratify, to layer or to layer into separate layers. Can you use it in a sentence, Serena? Yes, I can, Callahan. Jones studied the stratified bedrock and was able to see which time periods went with which layers. Now to Jake for today's weather forecast. Today we have a high of 82 degrees and a low of 68 degrees. There's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, then we will have sunny skies with a few clouds for the weekend and next week with highs in the mid 80s. Enjoy the weather bucks and go Bolt! This day in history. Well, I have a dream. Well, I have a <laughs> In 753 B.C., Rome was founded. This day in 1918, the Red Baron is killed in World War I. Strange news for today. A $284 million research ship is to be named Bodie McBoatface after a boat. Yesterday, an 88-year-old World War II veteran finally gets his high school diploma. Prom's coming up fast. Price tickets start at $70 and will be sold today and tomorrow. They will rise to $75 on April 28th and the 29th and will rise again to $80 on May 2nd through the 12th. Attention 10th and 11th graders. Are you interested in dual enrollment at PHSC this summer? Go to Guidance April 25th through the 27th for the registration paperwork. And then sign-ups sign will be the 28th and the 29th at PHSC. Now to a video about CPR. As a paramedic, I've showed up several times. We get the call, 911, you have a response to a cardiac emergency or cardiac arrest. And everyone is just standing around, whether it's coworkers or whether it's loved ones. They could have been doing CPR prior to our arrival. And it's unfortunate because if we were able to have people doing CPR, it could possibly save that person's life. When I had walked up to the bus stop, uh, there was just this crowd just covering the entire sidewalk, and they were all just standing around this man on the ground who was turning purple, and nobody was doing anything. It was kind of frustrating because there was a ton of adults, like 30 adults, standing around this man, and it took me, a teenager, to step over there and say that something needed to be done. Just because of the CPR training that I had received in high school, it, I knew what to do in a situation like that. I knew the signs of when somebody needs CPR, so my training kicked in, and it was kind of like being back in the classroom responding to it. I told somebody to call 911 and I performed the CPR until the EMTs and the police department and the fire department came. Everyone should know CPR because everyone has a heartbeat and you never know when an emergency is going to happen, when someone may go into cardiac arrest. If you don't do CPR, then the person doesn't survive. I didn't have any response from him, um, and when the EMTs arrived, they didn't get any response from him until they got him to the hospital, and when he was in the hospital, he was stabilized. When they told me that I had saved his life, I kind of started crying, but it was more like a relief tears that I, I had actually helped somebody instead of letting them die on the street. Good morning, Bucks. Coach McFarland here with a great opportunity for everyone. As you just saw in the video, a young lady had the opportunity to save a life, and because of her knowledge from the training that she did in school, she was able to help save a life. I am conducting a hands-only CPR training here at Gulf High School. We have already trained over 200 Gulf High students and are looking for anyone else who would like to be trained. The training takes one hour and we'll be conducting the class two more times next week for anyone wanting to be trained. 
Please sign up with me before or after school or during your lunch. The trainings will be held next Tuesday and Wednesday, the 26th and 27th, after school from 1.45 to 2.45. You must be signed up, so please see me if you are interested in this training. Okay, hands-only CPR. It's a great opportunity, it does not take long, and it will give you some very useful knowledge. Thank you very much, Bucks, and have a great day. Seniors, don't forget, we're still in senior week. The dress-up days are today, which is Safari Day, just as an animal or an explorer. And Friday is Senior Citizen Day. Please make sure to participate in Senior Week. For any additional information, please refer to the scroller. That's all for our news. Stay, Stay golden, golden. Go high.